Good evening, guys. My name is Stuart from Marshall Music, and tonight on Stu Chats with, I have with me a lady by the name of Carrie Ann Alliston. She is a radio presenter, she's an MC, she was an actress <laughs> many moons ago. Many moons ago, when she was in her early 50s, early 20s. Uh, she's a, I like to call her a friend of mine. She's a very good friend, and she's here with us tonight to talk Hi. to me, and I'm very privileged. Hi, Sticks. Hi. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? I haven't seen you for a long time. I know. It's been a while. It's yeah. great to be here. Yeah. The only time I see you is um, at all these events that you attend, mm -hmm. and I think to myself, every time I see them, I just get tired. I just get tired looking at all the pictures of all the events. <laughs> How do you find the time to go to all these launches and fundraisers and and how do you how do you find the time how do you do it it's easy when you love something i think so i'm really really passionate about music and yeah. about the events and about the shows and about charity and fundraisers so i think you can always find the time if something is important enough to you that's well that's what everyone says about you is that it's yeah it's your passion it's your love you are so enthusiastic about everything you do. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still and and you're still working for Mix FM. I am. You're doing. The, tell us about what you do at Mix FM. Okay, so I've been with Mix for about seven and a half years now. Okay. Um, my show is on a Saturday and a Sunday, one to four p.m. On a Saturday. It's all about the music, really, so I prefer to talk a little less, play a little more music. Mm. Um, I have a girl power half hour. I have three to five gig guides on a Saturday, and then on a Sunday, another three to five gig guides. I have old school Sundays, which I end the show off with, 50s and 60s music the last hour. Okay. And Mostly Beatles. Know, Mostly Beatles. No. <laughs> <laughs> Some Beatles. <laughs> um, but I have the Marshall Music Live sessions between 2 and 3 o'clock. And we've been having those sessions for, Stuart, you know, for about five years now. Okay. We have... Explain to some of the, the, some of the viewers out there who don't know the Marshall Music Sessions, what's the vibe? Okay, so between two and three o'clock, we have two to three bands in every single week. Up and coming bands, headliners, all kinds of genres. It's really, really cool. So many amazing bands coming through the Marshall Music Live Sessions. So I've got to send a massive shout out to you and to Dane, everyone at Marshall, because the sessions are going so well and they're such a great platform for yeah. South African bands. Yeah, they're yeah. cool. It's, uh, yeah, it gives them a bit of recognition that they deserve. Otherwise, there's not a lot of platforms out there. So Absolutely. It's nice not that enough you guys platforms. are doing it. Yeah, it's yeah. nice that you guys are doing it. Thank you. Cool. Thank you yeah. so much. Let's just talk about the Beatles. You're a Beatles addict, aren't you? I am a Beatles fan. No, I'm you're a not a Beatles fan. fan. You're, a, you're a bit <laughs> obsessed about them, aren't you? <laughs> you and your dad? Uh, so my dad's from Liverpool. Yeah. And How many has, times a year do you go to Liverpool? There's a Beatles festival every year. And <laughs> it's called the Beatles Week, the International Beatles Week. And so for seven days between 10 a.m. and the following morning, 8 a.m., there's Beatles music played around the city. Just non-stop. Non-stop. In the streets, in the hotels, in the bars, <laughs> in the clubs. And probably about 65 bands from around the world. So they're dressed in Beatles attire. They're playing Beatles music. Now, aren't you friends with Pete Best? I am. Don't you stay at his home when you're there? <laughs> uh, I'm showing off for her. <laughs> she stays at... One of the, the like the first Beatles drum Beatle drummer. Yeah, yeah. You said his he house. First, uh, was the first drummer for the Beatles, and he was incredible. He still is. Yeah. He has a festival at his house called the Best Fest, and he gets a <laughs> bunch of bands to come play in his house, which is the first place the Beatles ever played. Oh wow! In yes. the living room. It's kind called of the Casbah. Okay. The Beatles used to play there, and they were under eighteen, so they'd serve Coca Cola, and they would jam <laughs> Beatles gigs there. <laughs> He still plays there. And he's still doing it. And the last time, or the second last time I was there, one of the guys from the Prodigy was there. A couple of musos from around Liverpool. 
uh, his family members play, so wow. everyone just gets to jam. It's really awesome. They bring their cooler boxes, hang out in the back garden. <laughs> it's so and, cool. Yeah, it's really awesome. Are you taking me next year? Of course I am. Funny you should ask. Tickets already booked. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, really I watched cool. the, I watched the, um, was it the, um, Carpool something with, with Carpool Karaoke. Carpool with Karaoke Paul with Paul McCartney. Paul, wasn't that the best one ever? Such a great one. Yeah. James Corden's doing some great things, but that yeah. one with Paul McCartney is oh, insane. It's it was so amazing. Cool. They end up going into his old house, and the woman's like, "Yo, make yourselves at home," yeah. and then all the crowd outside. It's some bacon, it's some baked beans for you. <laughs> brilliant. Have you brilliant. heard of car karaoke though? Yes. Which is so much cooler. James so, Corden. so what's happening with that? No, nothing's happening. <laughs> But you did, but you did a pilot one, didn't you? <laughs> you should. I think I should. You it's should. a thing. It's you a should. thing. I've Do actually it. done car karaoke with some really, really awesome <laughs> musos um, from the industry. So and now, where, where where can we catch that? Where can we see that? I don't know. I'll have to. Do you, like, are you just popping it on Facebook? I pop everything on Facebook, so okay. Okay. I have a lot. Okay. okay. <laughs> I have a lot of car karaoke. Now tell us about um, your MCing. Now, okay. And, so and, and then we'll talk about your DJing. Okay. Cool. So I'm not even sure how I got into it. Um, I'm not even sure I'm really good. <laughs> but uh, You are. The you. energy you put into it and everyone wants you to do it. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been lucky enough to MC some really, really amazing launches, events, Rolling Stone magazine. Mm. Um, I am the brand ambassador for Ducati. So I launch and MC all of their events, uh, which is really cool. cool. It's That's very, cool. very cool. Yeah. Um, and then I just love MCing the really awesome album launches, at the small mm. clubs, at the bars. Yeah. Those are my favorites. Um, but I've been fortunate enough to MC a lot of corporates, a lot of great launches, um, and some great events, yeah. Your details, we're gonna put up Carrie Ann's details if you wanna contact her for any sort of MCing event. Um, yeah, not like I said, not necessarily in the music industry, although the music industry is your first love, but yeah, you're available for any kind of MCing, yes. any glamorous event. <laughs> And as, and as a DJ, it. how did you get into DJing? Do you really want to know the story? Okay, I'll tell, tell you. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny, so I'll tell you the story. Um, There's no under-18s watching here, so it's fine. Okay, well, it's not too... Oh, okay. It's, it's not too bad. It's not a, <laughs> it's not a dodgy story. Um, but I kind of got into the music industry almost 20 years ago, uh, mm. managing bands. And I kind of always thought it'd be so cool to be a radio DJ. Um, and then kind of when I woke up, it was too late. You know, getting into radio, you've got to kind of go from varsity. You've got to start on a varsity station. Okay, yeah, yeah. And from there, the community stations, the, the national stations pick you up. And I kind of decided very late, late 20s. And then I thought, oh, I don't want to go back to university and study. And also, I'm hitting 30 now, so by the time I finish going to varsity and studying something, I'm going to be too old. Um, and then I heard a radio station playing some heavy metal one night, and I thought, wow, this is amazing. This is really cool. Who are they? And they were Mix 93.8. So yeah. I dropped them a line, um, and it was pretty strange because I DJed um, at a club called The Doors um, a few weeks prior. And I broke my foot. Okay. So I was in one high heel, one moon boot, some crutches. So and hot. So <laughs> incredibly awesome. And I dropped a line to the then programs manager, David Watts. And uh, he agreed to see me. And I wobbled in with one high heel on and one moon boot. I sat down and I'd asked for a radio show. And he went through the whole rigmarole of... Where did I study? Where did I go to university? How many years have I been studying broadcasting, <laughs> sound engineering? And I said, let's cut to the chase. I haven't studied any of it, but I would like a show. Yeah. And uh, yeah. 
he uh, he said, but look at all of these mails I'm getting every day. Yeah, Why am I choosing you? Uh, yes, exactly. And I said, well, I've been managing bands for over 10 years. I love the industry. Music's my passion. And you're going to have to give me a try. If I suck, fire me. But just give me a chance. Yeah. And um, a couple of weeks later, I started on the top 20. And... Um, yeah, I've been there seven and a half years now. Okay, awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. Tell me about your, um, what are some of the bands that you've loved over the years? Lo I'm talking just local SA bands. What are your all-time favorites? Who are the, like, for you, the, the new up-and-coming hot guys? Who are you loving watching live, etc.? You're putting me on the spot now it's, because I know it's, it's, I'll it's be here all night. Yeah. Just I've got a hundred <laughs> on my list, um, and I'm going to forget some now. I know. It's very, very difficult. You, you are allowed to forget some. Okay. Just I off the top of your them head. Because I have tequila brain, and I, it's a miracle I remember my own name when I wake up in the morning. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Okay, so through the years, I've just seen such incredible, incredible bands from the days of Squeal, Arapaho, Seed, Plum. Plum were the first band I ever worked with, so okay. yeah. I, I have a crazy soft spot for mm. their music and them as humans. Yeah, amazing. Um, the first kind of tour I ever went on, I was still in school and had to take off. <laughs> um, and that was when I went on tour with Sons of Trout. They so, were from Durban? Uh, from Cape Town. Cape Town, sorry, Cape Town, yeah. Um, they're made up of Skulky Bear, Nick Turner, uh, Mike Rennie, mm. Mike Hardy. Um, what a great band. Mm. And, uh, and kind of through the years, Robin Old and Wendy Oldfield were always great to watch. Mm. Um, and I spent a lot of time about 18 years ago with the Parlotones, Evolva One, the Finkelsteins, okay. Prime yeah. Circle, because yeah. they, they were all in the same kind of group. Yeah. Um, and they all went on tour together. So I spent a lot of time with them. And it's just great. And I suppose, yeah, you're all the same. You're all sort of. 18, 19, 20. We were yeah. all kind of yeah. the same age back then. Yeah. And so watching them over 20 years has been amazing. Yeah. The Parlotones just released Anecdotes last week, mm. uh, which is a great new video. They've always just put out awesome videos. Mm. Um, they're a great band. Prime Circle are doing great things. Uh, Ross yeah. has a new Bare Bones tour. It's um, brilliant, isn't it? Which, which yeah. people are loving right now. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, but talking about the last couple of years, I have a very special spot in my heart for the Black Cat Bones. Mm. They are such an incredible band and a brotherhood, really. Mm. So their music to me is just very special. And their new album is called Here is a Knife. And it's, I guess, because they're always leaving a little bit of them on stage whenever they perform. Quibus is just such a phenomenal, yeah. such a giving front man. Yeah, he puts his heart out on the front of the stage. And he just always <laughs> leaves it there. Yeah. Um, him and his band, Casey, Gareth, Andre, Quibus, mm. just a phenomenal band. Great, great guys. Well, don't they get voted best live act, like, what, 10 years in a row now? <laughs> <laughs> they are incredible live. They yeah. really, really are. Yeah. Um, Hellcats are doing incredibly well at the moment. For a two-piece, they sound like a ten-piece. Yeah. Uh, Warwick well, Warwick's another one who's just like are just insane. all over the place. Yeah. And yeah. it's really difficult to sing and play the drums at the same time. Yeah. So <laughs> Alessandro, <laughs> I don't know how he does it, but he does it. And Warwick has more energy in one one body than an entire band does. So that band he comes in the shop here with plasters on his fingers I from don't, from I'm bleeding not sure how he from does. hitting the guitar so hard. <laughs> I don't know how he does it, but yeah. uh, but he does. And <laughs> wow, he's magic. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's so many bands. Just this past weekend, I watched Made for Broadway. Brogan mm. used to be a part of the Marshall family. Yes, yeah, yeah. and. They're just so good. Their mm. songs are amazing. Yeah, polished. Eh? Really, yeah. really good. Great yeah. album made for Broadway. Um, yeah. I really hope they just grow from strength to strength. They're mm. amazing. Yeah. Um, the Tasers are doing great things. I don't know them so well. The Tasers are awesome. Well, you know me. I don't go to many gigs. You don't, and you should. 
There's so <laughs> many incredible bands out there right now. So I want to see you at more gigs. Stuart. Maybe. I'll try. You should. Um, another band to check out is Georgetown. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. beautiful. They yeah. just have a beautiful sound. Yeah. And a sound that not many people are, are kind of working right now mm. in mm. the South African mm. music industry, worldwide, really. Um, yeah. It's a kind of old sound that they're freshening up. No, they're amazing. Their yeah. songs are amazing. Yeah. Watching them live is just really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just excited with everything that's going on in the music industry, really. Uh, the Black Hat Burns started working with a band called Wolfgang Marrow. Mm -hmm. You like things that are a little more bluesy orientated. Mm -hmm. And Sandy has some pipes on her. Uh, so, yeah, just so many great bands. Josh and the guys from Reagan Royale mm -hmm. uh, just awesome. bring so much love yeah. to everything that they do. They're really, yeah. really cool. Yeah. Um, another one of my favorites is Boxer. And we just mm -hmm. recently lost the singer, Ari yes. Brest which broke my heart into a million pieces. They were a yeah. fantastic band to watch. Uh, we Are Charlie have just broken up and they're coming back together as a oh, brand new band. That. Okay. So follow Dylan and the guys. Uh, great sound. Okay. So they're okay. very, very cool as well. Okay. Do you want me to stop talking? <laughs> She can go on forever about that. I bands. really can. There's a band called Club of Suns out right now <coughs> and their sound is amazing. Are there any bands that you hate? <laughs> Not <Joking>. really. <laughs> Not really. No. No. None. I can't think of too many. I'm not a massive Antwerp fan. Let's not go there. Um, but I don't, you know, it, it's weird. I don't think, maybe I'm wrong, but I get the perception that there's not many local South African people who are massively into the Antwerp. I just, I, it's I, just I, not really my vibe and I, it's I, yeah. probably unfair to me to single one band out mm. um, and I wouldn't usually do that but I think they're the only band that come to mind that... Have you heard the controversy about them? Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of controversy around I think, the Antwerp. So. I think that uh, Wadi character is... Uh, In trouble. Yeah, losing his mind. Anyway. Tell me about Moving this. swiftly along. Tell me about that thing we were talking about off camera. What's it called? Musical Journeys. Right. So What's that all about? Okay. I decided that I wanted to put something together to honor and pay tribute to artists that have been around for over 25 years. Okay. So many artists out there have such an incredible story and such a beautiful journey. Ups, downs, hips, breakups, health. And no one knows their story. Mm. So it isn't documented anywhere. So when we lose these artists, their story gets lost along with them. And I think they've put so much into the music industry and given so much that their story should really be shared and kind of be glad that it needs to be treated with a lot of respect and mm. a lot of love. Mm. Um, and so I was chatting to Franz Kura from Gunshot Blue <clears throat> um, we chatted a lot about it and uh, yeah, I decided to put a TV show together. Um, Fran shot the first two with me, uh, the third and fourth will be shot with another co-host and every two episodes will be shot with a different music industry co-host. I'm not saying anything about okay, well, next yeah. week's episode but it's going to be amazing. I'm okay. really, really excited. Uh, so, kind of what happens is it starts with three songs, a three song performance. It then goes into a half an acoustic hour interview. Acoustic kind of thing? Acoustic. Or, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just singer songwriter yeah. vibes. Yeah. One artist, they come in, they perform three songs, and then it's a half an hour interview, and then a half an hour break, another three songs, and another half an hour interview. And that's how the okay. show runs. Um, it is open to the public, but basically only space for about 40 people mm. to join us. Um, I also think that this specific show is pretty special because I ask the artist to create the menu for the night as well. Oh, so cool. everything that happens on the night is artist orientated. It's all about the artist, it's all about their story. Um, and it's just been really great. Episode one was Cindy Alter from Clout. 
we told her story and her story if you know anything about clout and cindy yeah i know is I know. a pretty crazy story yeah, and yeah. I'm just so glad that I was able to capture it because mm. it isn't out there. Mm. It's in her book, No Substitute, but it hasn't been documented. Mm. She was phenomenal. The evening was beautiful. Uh, she chose a great menu. It was yeah. halloumi and calamari and lamb chops and baked potatoes and cakes. Yeah. Um, and then the following month, I was very, very happy to have and tell the story of Zex, the vocalist mm -hmm. for Tidal Waves. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful human. Yeah, he's what amazing. a great story. Yeah. And what a great band. They, they are world class. They're just incredible. They are absolutely world they, class. Yeah, incredible. One of my favorite, favorite bands to watch and yeah. just beautiful human beings. And he's just so humble. Just such a nice yeah. guy. Yeah. And so on that night, it was a vegetarian menu because he's vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a creamy basil and mushroom pasta. We had fruit salad and ice cream. <laughs> um, and it was just so That's awesome. That's a brilliant idea. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I partnered it. up with the Calexico Rock and Roll Bar and Grill at 44 Stanley, which is okay. such an easy area to get to it's so accessible lots of yeah. parking beautiful food great vibes so so now if people want to book for the next one can, can All who they should they to contact do is call calexico at 44 stanley okay it's as easy as googling um or info calexico and they just ask for today. the next musical journey absolutely it right. happens every okay. first wednesday of the month okay next week we're having sito from vonnebuem cool yay I love Warner Worm. I've been a fan of theirs for such a long time. Yeah. What a great performing band. They just yeah. always give 100%. Well, that's my favorite live band of all they time. They are yeah. absolutely incredible to watch. Yeah. I love them all. Especially when they used to take their shirts off, but they don't do it Come anymore. Come on, Sito. <laughs> Get their shirts off. They're not my favorite anymore. But <laughs> get on it. <laughs> um, Sito. Martin, Wade, and Jonathan, they know how much I love them. I love them with my whole heart. They are incredible. Yeah. And they've been rocking for 23 years now. Mm. Um, but Sito's on it because he's been rocking for way longer with eight-legged groove machine yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Was it electric petals. Yeah. Um, well, he's just so versatile, isn't he? He Incredible. can do anything. Incredible. Sito talent, talent, just talent. blows talent. my mind every time. And if you've seen the new Led Zeppelin show... No, it's unbelievable. ...that Jason Ostezen has put together, it's, it's something else. And I think they've got one or two shows to go, and yep. then that is the end of the Led Zeppelin tribute. Uh, okay. I've watched the show, I think, eight times. Is that all? Yeah, <laughs> I know. Oh, I, miss, I miss those three shows in Cape Town. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just such a spectacular show. Yeah, yeah, Vonnebuem yeah. are absolutely amazing. Um, I just back everything that they do. Um, Martin Rock and the Six Shop is another brilliant band. Yeah, they're cool. So big shout out to them. And yeah. Cito has brought out new music under the name Blood Honey. Yes, he's so Which nothing. is yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. It's a lot darker, it's a lot more gothic. Um, you can check out songs like Out. It's quite a little bit, um, yeah, it's very, I, I hear a lot of the sort of slower Depeche Mode in it. And that, There's a bit of Depeche Mode that in kind it. Of influence, and you can kind of so. hear that Sito is a fan of Nick Cave yeah, yeah. and, and yeah. artists like that in, yeah. in this new band, um, yeah. which is very, very cool. Nocturnes, Antibiotic, Out, all songs you can check out that are out right now. Okay. Yeah. So, so to book for that, um, Info at Calexico. Okay. And it's the first Wednesday every, every month. The first Cito's Wednesday on. every month, the musical journey. Okay. And always with a very special artist that we pay okay. tribute to. Are and you... we shoot it, sorry. Yeah. We shoot it, um, we're shooting it for television. So it's, you can do whatever you like while the food's being served, three course meals. But while the artists are busy with the interviews and the performances, it's a no noise policy, which is incredible. It's very, it's, you're just so immersed. In How are they going to keep you quiet? I'm very good at being quiet. <laughs> Promise. Okay. <Christ> <laughs> are you on Instagram? I am. 
What? <laughs> this is a very funny story. Another funny story. Uh, you're gonna regret asking me onto the show because I've got so much to say. Please stop me at any time. No, 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 no. Okay, a couple of years ago, and I'm not sure what it was for, but I had an event where I had to have lunch with the EFC fighters, EWF, right. yeah, yeah. EFC fighters, yeah. yeah. And I didn't have an Instagram because I'm technologically challenged, right? So I had Facebook and I was really You can't have everything. You, you can't, can't be <laughs> you can't be perfect and you know you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll go with that instead of technologically challenged. I didn't have computers at school, okay? So I give you your age away. I know. You're only thirty one. <laughs> Really, really good looking for 65. Yeah. <laughs> Average for like, I'm so lucky I'm not in my late 30s. Then I would <laughs> so look like hideous. Like <laughs> um, so there I was having lunch with the EFC fighters and they'd asked for my handle. Your handle, yeah. My handle, yeah. just like they're right here. <laughs> they're right over here. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and <clears throat> right then and there, they set up my account for me. So <laughs> that's that's right. quite, that's a new one. So I am at Miss Alistair. I thought you were going to say at lovehandles.com. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm at Miss Alliston. Miss Alliston. Miss Alliston. Right. But I didn't even know I had this account until one of my listeners on my radio show messaged and went, Oh, we just saw you on Instagram, and I went, oh, I'm not on Instagram. And he said, you are, you have, a thousand, you have a thousand followers. And I went, I can't. And they're all EFC fighters. Yeah. <laughs> all fans. Yeah, a thousand EFC fighters from around the world. Um, <laughs> so, are you sure this chick's in the music industry? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I, I went and had a look, and I am, in fact, on Instagram. Right, right. So I don't know my password. I don't know how to access it. All right. So the um, time you get into find your password, you're gonna have another thousand music industry. I'm followers. using it. It's on my phone. It's there. Okay. I'm active. Okay. I try and post. It's and you're on Facebook. People gigs. can friend you on Facebook. It's Kerry Ann Kerry Dash A N N E. Yes. Alliston A W L E S T E R S T E R S T O N. Yes. Kerry Ann Alliston Facebook. Miss Alliston Instagram compliments of the EFC. Fighters. So hit Carrie Ann up for anything you may need in terms of anything. If you need anything done in the music industry, Carrie Ann will do it for you. She makes stuff happen. She knows everybody. Everyone loves her. She loves everybody. You're the most amazing person. You Wowzers. really are. You really are. Thank you You're, so much. So, so many, so many people tell me what, what a, what a beautiful person you are and how friendly and Thank helpful you. and giving and and I agree with them. Well, Thank you for being on this little show. You've warmed my heart and it's I really pleasure. appreciate being here. It's a pleasure. Um, before I go, uh, just a big shout out, sorry, to any bands yeah. and artists out there, uh, Balcony TV has changed to Discover TV. Oh, yes. And that's without an E and our kind of thought behind it and our logo really is let us be your stage. Uh, we shoot music videos, backstage, recording studios, okay. uh, live performances, which is just another platform where you can check out amazing South African artists on Facebook. Cool. Discover so, so TV, and that's without the E. Okay. So it's kind of the same as Balcony, but so much more on the sides so as well. So much cool. more because you Brilliant. can kind of access the artists from all directions. Brilliant. So we'll, put the link, we'll put the link in the description below as well for, for Discover. Yay! Discover TV without an E. I am so thankful. Cool. Thank you so much for having me on the it's show. Thank you so pleasure. much to Marshall Music for pleasure. everything that you do. I appreciate it. Cool. So to you and Dane, dear well, the guys behind the cameras, thank you so much. <laughs> the slaves behind the cameras. Get me my whiskey. <laughs> Where is my tequila? Damn it, are we finished? <laughs> that took a lot longer than I was hoping. All right, guys, I think we better go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's all for tonight. Thank you and good night.